This is a big moment, Captain. Bigger than you probably realized. I've waited ten years for it. What is this place? A private medical facility. So private, it's only ever served one patient. Dr. Chela, let's introduce the captain to the man in carbonite. Begin the procedure. How long has it been? Ten years. I'm sorry it took so long, but I finally have everything you told me to find. Come closer, Rishan. Let me see you. I'm different now. Not that little girl constantly underfoot. Now you are my heir, my legacy. Captain, meet my father, Nakdrayan. I believe I've mentioned him once or twice. I never believed you were really dead, Nak. Then my daughter wasn't doing her job properly. Sorry I wasn't completely honest, Captain. I promised father when he entered Dr. Chela's hibernation treatment I'd never tell anyone the truth. Why was Nock in Carbonite for ten years? The Selkath's experimental carbon freezing allowed me to cheat death, at least for a little while. Ten years ago, one of my lieutenants deliberately infected me with a disease. It's deadly, incurable, and eating me alive. You replaced the infected parts with all that machinery, right? I've done everything to stop this disease. But it's never been enough. Soon, the illness will consume my vital organs. Yell if your mind starts to go, all right? Let's get down to business, shall we? I lied about my father, Captain. But not his lost fortune. That's real. And thanks to all those starship upgrades, it's yours. You have the only starship in the galaxy equipped to travel where the fortune was lost. No one else can reach it. There is a region of space beyond the Outer Rim, called the Long Shadow. There are no stars, no light, no life. Just a derelict starship drifting into a massive black hole. My fortune waits for you there. You're completely sure now? The starship in question has belonged to my family for a very long time. I will give you the coordinates to the derelict vessel. You'll fly into the Long Shadow and board it. Retrieve the vessel's reliquary and bring it here. Risha will take a single item. The rest is yours. I don't even know what reliquary means. Think of it as a treasure chest filled with the sort of wealth that never goes out of style. My daughter will stay here. I have things to tell her, and my time grows short. Be careful out there. I've gotten used to seeing you. Enjoy your family reunion. I'm off to get rich. The derelict vessel is at these coordinates. Go now. Hull, Hull integrity failing. This vessel is entering the Singularity's event horizon. Vessel disintegration imminent. All crew advised to abandon ship. Call entities identified. Beginning mandatory royal edict playback. I, King Eric Drayen III, find my throne under attack. Traitors aim to take what rightfully belongs to me. The wealth of Dubrillion will not fall into the hands of my enemies. Instead, I will remove it from their reach. My royal executioner droid will sabotage this vessel's hyperdrive and exterminate you, the crew, to ensure there is no rescue. You served me well in life. In death, you will serve me better. Goodbye, my subjects. Royal edict playback complete. Initiating execution protocols. We're not the crew. We're, um, tourists. Understood. Secondary objective, 
protect treasury vessel from unauthorized access. Executing now. Then, bet you're surprised to see me. How the blazes did you get here? I hitched a ride on the only ship that could make this trip. Yours. See, I've always believed if you can't beat them, join them. And then beat them. So, I stowed away back on Narshada. All I had to do was wait for you to leave and then give that idiot Corso another smack in the back of the head. That farm boy is so fired when we get back. By all means, send your Wookiee at me. I need a new winter coat. I want to be civil about this. Sure, you've made my life miserable, but I don't hold a grudge. Really. You should have quit while you were behind, Skavik. And miss all this fun? Not a chance. Bottom line, there's nothing you have that I can't steal. I got bad news for you. Dead men can't steal. Captain, I've been meaning to ask. Did you happen to... when you fought Skavik? Was Torchy there? She's all yours, Corso. Use her in good health. Oh, <laughs> Torchy! It's good to have you back, girl. I'm not letting another man touch you ever again. Thank you, Captain. I wasn't using it anyway. Besides, our captain has returned. You made it. Open this thing before it's too late. Give me the reliquary. I want to see these treasures before I die. This box belonged to a King Eric Drayan. Relative of yours? My grandfather. A usurper stole his throne. But he got the last laugh. Jayans always do. I'll enter the code my father taught me. And there. Such a simple act to fulfill a lifetime of effort. Congratulations, Captain. Knock Drayan's lost fortune is yours. With one exception. Take the crown, Risha. Claim your birthright. Restore the Drayan dynasty as rulers of Dubrillion. Wear the crown, and rule that world. Your whole crazy treasure hunt has been to get some kingdom back? Our kingdom. And revenge on the usurpers who stole our throne. Remember those assassins on Tatooine? They were sent by the current king of Debrillion to end me. This king isn't gonna roll over just because you have the crown. The crown of Debrillion commands the respect of millions. She'll have plenty of allies. Will they be enough, Father? Can I really do this? If you're going to rule a world, Risha, you'll have to do questionable things. This is my final lesson to you. In the grand scheme of things, one spacer is meaningless. Keep the reliquary and its wealth. Kill him. Kill me, just like your grandfather killed the crew of that ship? This wealth is designed for royalty. Not your surplus of fortune hunters. Father, no. The captain is a good man. I care about him. You... useless child. Spent too many years without my guidance. You're weak. Powerless. Everything I've done... The blood I've spilled... For nothing. <clears throat> this is not how it's supposed to end. <laughs> Dispose of my father's body as he instructed Dr. Chela. You are released from my family's service. I'm sorry you had to see that, Captain. My father was sick. I appreciate you not trying to kill me. After all you've done, 
That would have been highly ungrateful. You're a wealthy man, Captain. That reliquary holds more than just family heirlooms. Merchants will be killing each other to buy what you're selling. Not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Everyone I've met from Dubrillion has tried to kill me. I don't have an army or a star fleet. I'm supposed to take over a whole planet with just a crown. I'm sure we'll come up with a brilliant plan, Your Highness. I have a feeling you're just in it for the money. But I can live with that. I'll make sure all the right people hear what you did today, Captain. It's the least I can do. Besides, famous starship captains attract profitable opportunities. And queens in training can never have too many credits. Let's hit the hyperlanes. Looks like we've got a call coming in, Captain. Let me put it through. Captain, I heard about your fantastic success with Noctrain. I always thought his fortune was a myth. Darmus Polleran, right? From Coruscant. What's this about? I'm touched to remember. You've come so far since then, with very little to work with. I have a business proposition for you, but I'd rather discuss it face to face. Come to Port Nowhere, Captain. The floating cantina, not far from you. I'll send the specs. Seems like a safe location, Captain. But we need to be careful. The Imperials are getting more gutsy. There's nowhere in Republic space that's safe anymore. If you wanted safe, you picked the wrong man, sweetheart. If I wanted safe, nice, presentable at social functions, not held in smoke-filled cantinas. Hey, I like smoke-filled cantinas. I'm serious. I caught a signature when we were on Nar Shada that looked like the Void Wolf. Someone I should know about? The man's a monster. Grand Admiral Haradax Kirill. Former slaver, scourge of the Outer Rim and all-round charmer. My father always kept a close eye on him. The Void Wolf's got delusions of taking over the Underworld, handing it to the Empire wrapped in ribbon. <laughs> then let's hit Port Nowhere fast and see if we can get out of his way. Captain, I never thought I'd see you here. Thought you were too good for a small time crooks in Port Nowhere. Once you got your hands on Noctre and ship, woohoo! Can I buy you a drink? Get some pointers? I've been waiting for this for a long time. Careful, you're drooling on the rug there, buddy. Actually, I am not the only one who's been waiting. So, I've been hearing your name for a while now. Almost as long as you've been hearing mine. Logan. They call me the Butcher. You lost a blaster shipment of mine some time back. And I don't remember ever getting an apology. How about it, Captain? You know how to say I'm sorry? I'm... I'm sorry. I am... Incredibly good looking. Nope, can't. No one steals from me and lives, boy. And you're not running away this time. My men have your hangar locked down tight. Sounds like a fun fight. All right, open season. A hundred thousand credits to the man who brings me his head. Done deal, boss. Start moving the funds. Captain, good thing you're prompt, or I'd be a dead man. The second we got off the link, Rogan's men turned up. We don't often see this sort of thing in the Galactic Senate. You were impressive, Captain. Almost worth getting kidnapped for. This is Senator Bevera Dodana. I work with her now. Rah, rah, hail the Republic, etc., etc. 
Is that the reason Rogan came after you? Actually, probably, yes. Rogan the Butcher is an Imperial Lackey, a puppet on a string for Imperial High Command. There's an Imperial fleet waiting out there. Rogan's men were going to deliver us to the Imperials. Time to put the Butcher down. And if you accept my offer, you won't have to take him on alone. The Republic is looking for men and women of action, patriots without the restriction of a trooper's uniform. How would you like a commission from the Galactic Senate, authorizing you as a privateer naval captain, tasked to target Imperial forces at will? I never wanted to get that cozy with the Republic, but I never met a senator like you. There are no other senators like me. We can't support you openly, but I think those are the kinds of missions you prefer. It's a straightforward deal. We give you targets, cargo, the job we need done, and all the support we can covertly provide. In return, we look the other way about any laws you break, or private gains you make along the way. The Republic can count on me. I can't just take your word, can I? I'll have to check up on you. Often. Our top target right now is Balmora, one of the most likely hotspots for open war to be declared. Is there anyone in the galaxy who still thinks we aren't at war? The longer we lie, the more people live. I know we're waiting until they're on planet for the full briefing. But maybe in a word? Balmora used to supply half the Republic's military resources. Now it's occupied by the Imperials, and all that technology is going to the... Empire! Empire! Imperial fleet to cloaked! Port side! No! Ah! Starboard side! They're all around us! It's the Void Wolf! Ah! Get your ship. Get back to Coruscant. You two, get out of here! I'll try to jump this old tub before they board us. Go! You made it through before the noose tightened. And I'm glad you did the same, Captain. I'll stay and make sure Port Nowhere doesn't land in any more of Rogan's or the Void Wolf's little parties. You can think of her as a safe harbor. So, how's this privateer thing work, anyway? Well, you heard the Senator. Balamor is the target. When you get closer, one of us will give you the specs. With things changing so fast, there's no point in an early briefing. And don't think this is all about serving the Republic, either. There's a fortune to be made in this war. An enterprising individual could end up with a criminal empire to rival Rogan. Details, man. Details. I'll give them as I get them. There's a power vacuum in the underworld with the big names gone. Locked Dre and the Hatchet Ivory. But I have a feeling you'll be up there one day. Just keep in mind, when you're on Balmora, the opportunities are there. You just have to take them.